are here in the Willem II Studios in Den Bosch, the Netherlands. Uh, we're actually now in Studio One. Besides Studio One, we have two other uh, different studios. Uh, this is the studio with the test and measurement equipment. In Studio Two, we have more the synthesizers from, let's say, early 60s till late 80s. Uh, and then we have a small production studio, and beside that, Next to this studio is also a beautiful former synagogue, which is now used as a concert hall for presentations. So mainly classical, contemporary music, but also jazz, and of course also some uh, electronic music concerts related to what is produced and made here in these beautiful uh, studios. Here in Studio One we use, as you can see, mainly uh, test equipment to uh, create sounds with. And initially, these instruments weren't made to make music, but just test equipment, which was used in, uh, for instance, radio stations to test their uh, signals. Or that we have some modules in the back, which were used by uh, Aztec for the space uh, station. In the rear, there is an analog computer, to, for instance, to make uh, calculations to see if, uh, for instance, uh, a designer who, or construction designer who designs a bridge, if the bridge is capable enough to keep the traction. But yeah, you can al also use these instruments to create sounds. So there were some uh, composers and musicians in the, in the 50s working in the radio studios actually in uh, one of the famous studios is the VDR studio in uh, Germany and there was this composer Stockhausen who was working with actually the same uh, sine wave oscillators as we have here to record sounds with and there uh, were the first electronic compositions um, made with those machines. Th that's uh, sort of what we do here as well but uh, in a new context and now in 2022 with new composers because usually th this equipment is like for instance in an, in an institute or at a conservatory or at a big uh, studio where only the, the lucky few can work but in these, uh, this studio everybody can work and we have here uh, a technical staff as well besides myself, my colleagues Hans Kulk and Ameno Alberts who um, help people work around in this equipment because yeah, this isn't your usual synthesizer so the terminology on the instruments and the functions in the, in the, in the instruments is slightly different than a standard uh, sy synthesizer but it's great for making music and creating new sounds because it all has a scientific purpose so it must be super stable so you can really tune the sine wave oscillators really well the instruments are really detailed and as you see they have all big knobs it's really sturdy made post cold war uh, gear so with military precision so my colleague always says it has to go up in the air taken in an aircraft but also underneath you see in a submarine and it's still should work, so it's super uh, stable and super uh, sturdy uh, designed and built, and that's really, really nice. We started out with my, my colleague Hans Kulp, and uh, Hans had a large part of this, uh, his collection standing in a, in a bedroom in his home, and he wanted to make th this instrument publicly available again, but he didn't have any space in his home. So we came up with the idea like let's just start a studio and we went to our uh, director of uh, Willem II and he thought it was a good idea. The Willem II Studios is situated in uh, Den Bosch or Sertogenbosch as it's officially called and it's a fairly small town in, in the south of Netherlands. It actually has quite a, a, a history in also electronic music and new music. Instead of a big city like for instance Berlin or Amsterdam People working here can really focus on working on their music, on their production, instead of having lots of distractions in a big city, which is noisy. And, uh, and besides that, still Den Bosch has quite nice things to offer. So you have loads of good restaurants and bars. You can almost do everything in the city center by foot. Um, so it's an easy, uh, really easy city to, to stay for a few days and work here, uh, so it's not uh, hard to uh, get around in this town.
Hello, and I am Adia, and uh, basically today it's us working in the amazing room too, and um, we are about to work on a collaboration, and it's going to be amazing. I'm Albert van Abbe. I'm doing a whole series of collaborations here with several artists. Also work with Aros before and Nina H, Bytone, Speedy J, and then today or these few days with Adiel. And uh, this studio space, uh, compared to the other one, has synthesizers from the era between the 1970s and late 1980s. For example, the Arab 2500 and, uh, and two Arab 2600s. Okay, now, well, uh, if you have any questions about uh, the studio here, please uh, ask your question in the comment or contact us through our website and send us an email. We're always uh, happy to uh, help you out answering uh, your questions. So, thank you.